Today, Kevin and I are going to be unboxing a Pachanga box and trying all the different snacks inside. So, uh, Pachanga box is a subscription service. And so, we unboxed, if you missed it last month, we unboxed, was it last month? I think mm -hmm. it was just last month. Yeah. We unboxed a Pachanga box and the theme was Mexico. Mexico. So, this month, the theme is Colombia. And so, the Pachanga box did send us this box for free. If you go and sign up, we don't get anything out of it. We don't have an affiliate code or anything No, like we, we won't know about it or anything like that. We are literally just unboxing this uh, and trying the stuff in it. So, I have already looked all through this box. You have not, have I you? do not. No. no. I know one thing that's in there. That one thing you showed me, that was it. Oh, then that's it. Okay, because um, I uh, I took everything out to take pictures for the end of the, the this video, uh, but Kevin hasn't seen anything. So, there's a lot in here. Um, we will probably be trying this first. It has no label on it whatsoever. None. Um, and I'm just going to take some stuff out. So, you have, um, there's candy bars. There's full-size bars. There's small bars. Uh, there's all kinds of sticks. Uh, there's suckers. There's... Uh, Two different kinds of fruit candies, like Starburst. Um, this is another, the, the Susie is a wafer with chocolate. This is a wafer. Um, this is a candy. Um, this. Yeah, that's the only one I've seen. Ah, uh, that one. Okay. Mm. These are cookies. Um, this looks like a little uh, gummy candy. We're going to talk about each one of these. So I'm not just rushing through. We will talk about each one. This is a uh, milk caramel spread, which you know what? Now the, spoons. We probably need a, a, a little spoon oh, for it. Oh, just oh, a oh, yeah, oh, regular oh. spoon is fine. Um, I forgot that was in there. Uh, and then we have lots of snacks, like packaged snacks. There's a lot more in this box than you would think. Like tons, tons of stuff. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> As a matter of fact, tell you um each box has 18 to 22 so that's the thing you might get 18 but you might get 22 i think we got 22 mm -hmm. uh but the boxes are pretty well stuffed they are very well stuffed yeah and they're giving you you know these are little sizes so you're gonna get a lot um so we're just gonna start i like i said we're gonna start with this one because it is, what you do is there is a, um, a code, yeah, QR code that you scan when, and that will take you to that month's um, list. They have pictures, which is awesome. There's like a picture of the bag and it gives the name. Now, um, it doesn't tell what it is. You still have to, if you want to know what it is, you still have to look that up. Look to like translate it. Right. This literally was not on the list at all, and it's not on the bag. So I have absolutely no clue what it's supposed to be. I don't know. It smells, I thought it smelled like coconut at first, but then I'm not sure. It smells sweet. It smells like a, it smells like coconut, but it also smells like a brown sugar. It definitely has some coconut in it. I can feel a texture of it. Well, it feels like coconut. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's coconut all that gets all in your mouth. It is coconut. And it's held together with like a pasty kind of mm -hmm. texture. Hmm. I thought it smelled like brown sugar, but it, it's not sweet enough. No. It's slightly sweet, but it's not sweet. Yeah, it's not sweet like brown sugar. Mm I just want to get a lot of snacks or I would finish up. I actually really like that. Mm -hmm, I one. love the texture of it. The texture reminds me of one of the coconut snacks that we have here mm -hmm. that is in the, the long stick or something. This is just like a patty of it. Mm -hmm. It's like you've made a homemade cookie yep. and done it yourself. And it's I like actually, a no-bake cookie but with coconut. I actually like that gritty texture. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really nice. That's nice. Uh, since that, this uses a spoon, let's try this one. Mm -hmm. It's um, Columbia. Don't say Dolce. It says milk caramel spread. Oh, okay. 
Yes, and I didn't write anything extra down for that one because it's a milk caramel spread, so we know what that is. Oh, okay. It's very full. I, I wrote know. everything down. Oh. oh, wow. I wrote everything oh. down, and then I also have all the pictures saved on my phone. So that I can try to keep track of everything. That is definitely not your traditional caramel. It's not bad. It's a very milky kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. I like the thick texture it's of it. It's very, very thick. That would be nice. Um, we just watched a, a show last night that had churros in it. Mm -hmm. That would be nice to stick a churro in. Yeah, it's a little thick. Just You might have to heat it up a little bit. Um, that bit. would also be good if you had apple slices. I, I know, dip it in. And you dip your apple yeah. slices in there. It's not as sweet as like a caramel. No, it's not. It's more milky. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of reminds me of a... Um, which it is. A form, I was going to say a form of caramel, but that's not what I mean. A form of caramel? No, is that what you said? No, form a uh, foreign Oh, well, a foreign caramel. But, but it's more like that. the UK version of caramel. You know, like when, when we get stuff from the UK, it's very milky. Right. And it tastes like they use a lot of cream and stuff. That's kind of what that tastes like. Ah, okay. I understand what you're saying. This, let's try this. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. It's just not as sweet as our caramel was. I can see putting that on a cracker or whatever. Okay, this one is a guava paste covered in sugar. It's a bocadillo oh, de <laughs> guava. Now, I did not look up how to pronounce mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Didn't look up how to pronounce We're anything. We're just going to wing it. <laughs> what I did on this paper was an hour. Took me an hour. So... Uh, there was no way I was going to look up. If I had looked up pronunciations of all this stuff, it would have taken me another hour. That wasn't going to happen. Um, there you go. So guava paste covered in sugar, it's, and they have put it between you know, like a wafer. two wafers so that you can hold it without getting sticky, I'm sure. Hmm. It almost has a, like a grapefruity, citrusy kind of flavor in it. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm. I absolutely am crazy about the texture of that. It's very gritty. It's extremely gritty. I mean, almost I, sandy gritty, but it's a little chunkier than that. A little yes. Bit and then you get the, uh, so the, the guava paste is gritty, but then you there's a grittiness also from that wafer, the, a crunchiness from the wafer. A so, little bit. It's a little soft, but so it's so gritty crunch. and then the crunchy, and I love that. Um, the guava isn't as sometimes it's sharper mm. i think it helps it that it has that um <laughs> wafer yeah um and the sugar uh i, I think that i would eat that anytime it's i think good. it's delicious it, it's very similar to grapefruit though it is so, but it's not as sharp and tart as, but yes as it's so much nicer to eat yeah. that i could eat that yeah but it does remind you a lot of like a grapefruit all right let's try this one because mm. i had a heck of a time finding this I actually um, found this somewhere online where they sold it in a, like an eight pack. Yes. So that's even, why that's the reason I knew this one is because I tried to help her find it. So the Come first on. one I told you they didn't list it all. This one does not have any name on it, oh, okay. uh, on it at all. It didn't have any name. So I had to take this and gently unwrap it. That's why Kevin saw it, and we had to try to find it. So now, where was that? Where was what was that called? Uh, Kevin, um, was that that the El Puma? Yes, yeah. oh. El Puma. It is a milk, uh, milk caramel and guava. Okay, which one should Whatever I? Whatever one you want. You want one with the brown. You want the brown and the red. Can you half that? No, this oh, one. Just okay. eat the other end. Oh, okay. I got you. I got yeah. you. I got you. Yeah. yeah, eat the part with the brown. The red is like the whole bottom, and then it's got a, a little layer of like a, that brown homely stuff on it. I personally do not like that one. I don't mind it. It's the caramel part. But that caramel, this caramel tastes a lot like that Dulce de Leches. Mm -hmm. And then um, you mix it with the guava, it's just not. It's, it's different, I don't mind it, but it's something that I would have to eat more of to get used yeah. to it. Because I've never had those two flavors mixed together. 
And that I'm, caramel tastes like it's made with like goat milk or something. It's a different. It's, it's a, a different, different caramel. Um, like I said, I don't mind it. It's just not the sweet, ultra mm -hmm. sweet caramel that we are no, used to. It's very to. creamy, milky kind of caramel. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't necessarily be my choice. Um, wouldn't be my choice at all. <laughs> okay, let's try. There's another gummy goop. Okay, what, what, let's do that one then. As long as I can find it on here. Yes. Cast upon. Yes. Cast upon. These are guava. <laughs> another guava. And dulce de leches rolls. Okay, so the it's same, the same. Definitely. Yes, a lot of these when I was writing down what is this. It, it, it would uh, be cool on the website to have the picture and the name and what it is. Yeah. I mean, I know that's a lot of work on their part. It is a lot of work on their part, but I do have to say that one of the other subscription boxes does that. Does that. Yeah. And this, I just think it's nice. It, it keeps for me from having to do it. Uh, this is as a guava wrapped around the caramel. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's a Colombian kind of thing as the guava and that caramel cream. Milk cream, whatever. That reminds me of the first one we tried. Better. It is better. The one with the wafer. Kind of reminds me of that one, but it's uh This, uh, this, um, the flavor's a little bit better. Castapan, you don't taste hardly any guava at all. No. It's all sugar. It's all sugary. And, and it, that cream. And it's chunky. It's Very chunky. really chunky sugar. And I love that. That's my favorite thing we've had so far. No. Oh, I could eat. Yes. I, I could buy a whole bag of those. And I wonder if they make those bigger. Castapan. Yeah, I really do like that. No, um, not for me. It's funny because I'm not, I would never say I'm a guava person. So that says a lot. Because that, it just doesn't taste like guava at all. It's just, it's super, super sweet. And I like sweet stuff. It's, it reminds me a little bit of uh, dates. That kind of gritty texture of a date. Oh, I kind of, kind of like that, except it's bigger. Uh, it, but it's not as strong as a, a flavor. Um, let's do these sticks. These are both the same thing, so you only have to open one. Super cocoa. Let's see. Okay, here we go. It is a, a Tiriudito Super Cocoa. It's a Colombian coconut chewy candy. It's chewy, all right. Like it's happy. Or a um, sugar baby. Or sugar egg. Very chewy. Almost, um, almost gummy like in the middle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know, I like the coconut flavor, mm -hmm. though. I like the flavor. I don't know if I like the texture, but. It, um, there is a sweetness there. Mm hmm. It's like a sweetened coconut, but it's almost, the texture of it is almost fibrous. Yeah, almost like you're chewing paper or something. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it's almost fibrous, and, and so it's okay. And that's not something that I would get again, uh -uh. because I would rather have that other... Coconut thing. Yeah, coconut candy. The little patty. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, the, yeah, I'd ten times rather have the patty. The mm. one that, and I wish we knew the name of that. It just kills me. This one. Yeah, it, it, it's so delicious. Yeah, uh, that this, one's too, the texture is what's Yeah, bad it's the texture, one. it's not the flavor, it's just the texture. Yeah, I mean, just, the flavor's not great either, but it's not as sweet. It's but. too bizarre. Okay, let's do, uh, we're, we're doing all the sweet stuff, which is fine. Let's do the uh, this one, Jumbo Flow. Jumbo Flow, okay. This looks like a caramel. Does it, it? Well, and it might have been on there, too. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I looked it up, but I wanted to see if it was on here. Nougat, caramel. Oh, okay. Kind see. of looks like a, a, a little bit reminds you of a Snickers almost, but it has a, like a cookie on it. Okay. What I saw was uh, hmm. Jumbo Flow white caramel and peanut chocolate. Hmm. Definitely not a cookie on the bottom. It's like a nougat. Ooh, that looks like a payday. It's full of peanuts. No, I mean more of a Snickers. I mean, no I mean Snickers. I mean Snickers. That's actually good. It's, it's more of a raw mm -hmm. peanut flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With just a touch of sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. It's not incredibly sweet. Mm-mm. 
You know what the bottom part reminds me of? What? A zero bar. You know, zeros are kind of that dense kind I of I can shooting. see that. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's really nice, but the star of the show is the peanut. Yeah, yeah. It, that's actually, I could eat a whole candy bar mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, let's try these cookies. These are Nestle's and they're coconut cookies. Nestle's everywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to delete these pictures as I go along. I have pictures of every single one of these on my phone from their website. Yeah, these are just uh, mm. coconut sandwich That's cookies. That's exactly. They smell like coconut. Yeah, they're coconut sandwich cookies by Nestle. And they have a little uh, island. Oh, that's cute. In the wave and, what is Coco, it, a volcano? Coco set. Is that a volcano? There's an island with palm oh. trees. You have it upside down. <laughs> If you turn it upside down, it looks like a volcano erupting. I see that. It's it's palm trees. It is, but if you, I don't know. <laughs> Anytime I see a little island like that with palm trees, it reminds me of that screensaver we used to have. We had a screensaver, which I don't even have any screensavers on my phone, on my uh, computer now, because mm. it's always on a web page. But there was a screen sa screensaver of this little man. Castaway something or yeah. put the lock or Yeah, uh, Johnny Castaway or I don't, I don't know. know. But there was this little man and he was stuck on an island. And he would and, do random things. Yeah, and on the holidays it would be like Christmas. Let's say Merry thing, Christmas between the two palm trees. Uh -huh. I love that screensaver. And it was different. They could have made one and expanded on it. People would have paid money for it. but. But now, does anybody have a screensaver? Uh, some people do. I just saw a video of somebody saying they use some kind of screensaver. Really? It's like, you don't really need one. Anymore. Our computers are always so busy that with the, they're they're always engaged. Yeah. They don't need it. Yeah. You don't get screen burning like you. Used to. Um, wallpaper. That's another thing on the computer. Don't have wallpaper anymore because you don't need it. If ours is always on a web page. Anyway, that cookie's a good cookie. It's a good cookie. It's nice. It's not like overly done. It's not as like. It's, it's not bad, it's not awesome, it's just a good cookie. It's just a nice coconut mm -hmm. cookie. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice coconut flavor. Though. It would remind you of an Oreo, but yeah. it's not as sweet as an Oreo. Right. But as far as the texture, it's not as hard as an Oreo. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it, it's, it's very nice, it's just oh. a coconut sandwich cookie. Real coconut all in your teeth. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Uh, so we're seeing that coconut and guava are very and that prominent cream, flavors. That caramel cream. And uh, yeah, in uh, uh, Colombia. Okay, let's do some wafer things. This wafer is jet. wafer jet, and it actually says what it is on the front, but I can look it up if you want me to. It's too small for me. Wafer jet is <laughs> chocolate flavor covered wafer with vanilla. Yeah, it's too. If I see it for a minute, I can focus it, but uh, it's just not worth it. Yeah, I used to have some neat wallpapers and stuff. Like for every holiday, I would have, uh, I would have like Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. And but Johnny, it was Johnny Castaway. Johnny passed right. away. And I think then, that's what you said. Yeah, and uh, but now it's like I, I just leave it on the web page. That's Johnny Castaway had every holiday. Yeah. Oh. Just your basic wafer could be. Mm, Reminds you of a Bortman, except that chocolate is not sweet at all. Mm -hmm. No, also the chocolate just gives it more texture than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I could eat it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nothing exciting, but it's good. It's probably low in calorie because it's just not sweet. The whole thing is 120 calories. Um. Mm. It's good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. If you would want some chocolate, but not something sweet, um, it, it, I like the wafer. It really does remind me a lot of Bortman, but without it, sweetness. It reminds me of a store brand wafer. Like um, the Walmart brand or the Kroger brand. Oh, yeah. That's what it doesn't remind me. It's not as good as Bortman, but it is. Uh, it does remind me of the store brand. This is going to be a another. Susie. Yeah, it's going to be another wafer. Nestle Susie at Nestle's made it too. Mm -hmm. It is a wafer with chocolate. And it is uh, and it's thick. 250 calories. Yeah, it's it's bigger or thicker than the other one. Oh, there's two. Ah, okay. Here we I go. I don't think Nestle makes a wafer over here. Mm-mm. It 
If they do, I don't know about it. It's weird that... Oh, that wasn't made by Nestle. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, I was going to say because it didn't taste the same at all. The, co the coconut cookies were Nestle. That Nestle was not as good. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we it's had... Kind of yeah, we had the wafer jet that was covered in chocolate. The Nestle Susie has chocolate on the inside. It's bitter. It's really, it's really... very cocoa. Really, Black really cocoa. bitter, and I don't care for that at mm. all. It's so sweet. I mean, not even a little bit. Yeah, so I would I would not get the, mm. the Nestle Susie. Uh -uh. Or if you don't want something sweet. Okay, let's see. Now we have... Let's just... We're going to just grab some of these. Oh, uh, do this one. Okay. Chocos? Chockies. Oh, that? is that Chockies. how you would say it? C-H-O-K-I-S. Chockies. Okay, they are corn balls. Could be Chockies. Chockies. <laughs> Chockies? Chockies? I don't know. They are, they are corn balls oh, covered yeah. in chocolate. Corn balls covered in chocolate. Hmm. You don't get the corn flavor. I was expecting some corn flavor, but mm -hmm. it's not. Do you get corn? No. no. I just taste the chocolate. And it's sweet. It almost mm -hmm. tastes like a... It's almost malted milk ball, but it's not as hard, and it's not. It doesn't have malted. Milk. I like it more. I like that. I'm you not don't a, like malted milk balls. Yeah, I'm <laughs> a Malteser over malted milk yeah. ball. I really don't care for malted milk balls. That to me, it almost tastes like, and I know there's no alcohol in it, but it almost has the the faintest hint of um, like a bourbon or something in there. It, by, way way back in the background. But it, uh, I love the flavor of that. Those are delicious. <laughs> are you thinking I'm crazy? Yeah, I don't, I don't get that at all. But oh, I love it. I, think I just, it's I just taste chocolate, and it's got a crunchy like shell on the. How many of those do you get in there? Oh, you quite get a few. quite a few. Yeah. Oh, well, I would. I could those. see snacking on those. Mhm. Mm I wonder. Oh, it's 19 it grams. Nice, yeah. Okay, I was thinking, is that 19 pieces? It, it, it's, it's a good amount of pieces mm -hmm. in there, though. You'd eat them fast, though. Okay, let's do these. These are very light as well. These are... I don't know. It's not an English I got style. it. I got <laughs> it. These are Acheras del Julia. Hula. I don't know. It's a traditional Colombian biscuit made from Archera flour instead of wheat flour. Hula. H-U-I-L-A? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's it's the flour they in in Colombia they use archera flour instead of wheat flour, huh. and that it says it melts slightly in your mouth with a crispy, soft, and gritty texture with a taste of milk. Do you think it tastes like milk? No. No. I like the texture. It turns into this like paste when you're eating them. It reminds me of... Um, um, it's oh, very plain. It's very, very plain. It reminds me a little bit of a, like an oyster cracker. Yes. The flavor. Just like a baked cracker of some kind. Very, very plain, but it's... I don't like how it ends. It's very pasty. Oh, you're saying the flavor? I don't mind yeah, the flavor. It's that flower. I wish it's it had a little just different. A, I wish they had just a little salt in there. I would like it better. But it's not terrible, but I, it... I could eat it. But it's... Uh, if there's something there now, yeah, it, it's that aftertaste. It didn't. I didn't get that at all while I was eating it. Was it is very different. Plain, but it ends on a really earthy tang. I can like see that. I just, yeah, I I wouldn't want those. Mm -mm, no. I mean, it's not something I would eat all the time because it's I'm wasting my calories. There's too much of it. That's the first thing we've had besides that Nestle Susie. Uh, that's the first thing we've had that I really have not liked. I don't um, like that at all. The Susie was just boring. Um, the Susie was boring, but those are bad. They, they, I do not like They're those. different. I don't think they're bad, but they're different. The, some of the guava things I didn't like, and that milk uh, spread thing I really didn't like either. These are peanuts. Yes. Mani Moto. Yes. Mani Moto. I said that like it was uh, like I was in Japan or something. Mari Moto. <laughs> Mani Moto. Uh, first created in Mexico, Japanese style peanuts Japanese. There you go. are a staple <laughs> of Latin American snacks. Manny Moto is made in Colombia and uses high quality peanuts. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> only get one. Only get one, okay. They're coated peanuts, so they're in a, well, you can see they're in a shell. Ooh. I swear that shell is the same thing that was in those little bread balls, whatever. Aren't they? If, they have um, the same texture. Um, I really like that. It's almost like they're coated in these. <laughs> I, I'm not getting that, that flavor. I mean, just the texture. It's very, very hard and crunchy. I like those. I think you get 100% pure peanut. Yeah, Love okay. the crispiness. If you like like a Boston baked bean, is that what they're called? The the no, spa, the, are they called spaghetti? Um, what are those called? The little the, the roll brown thing. Burnt peanuts. Yeah, burnt peanuts. They're it, not sweet though. Right. If you like, I you knew I'd get there after a minute. If you like burnt peanuts, that reminds me of burnt peanuts. Yeah, the texture does, but it's not. Burnt peanuts have a little bit of a sweetness to it because yes, it's sugar. Right. They, those don't. They're more of a like a bread. I really like those. I think they're delicious. I'm just getting 100% peanut from that. They're okay. Okay, they're let's hard. do this one. Uh, Gal Galita? Yeah, let's let's like see. A pastry bun or something. Let me look again. Galita Kuka. Oh, here we go. It's the brand is Sanin. Galita Kuka. Black cookie. Soft, gen it, yeah, they call it a black cookie, but I looked that up and it's supposed to be a soft gingerbread cookie. We'll see yeah. if that's I mean, right. I mean, it's black cookie on there. I know, well, it, it's. Okay, you get two and they're very young. Oh. Those remind me of those German um, gingerbreads. Yeah, it's supposed to be a gingerbread it's cookie. very, very, very dense bread. Take half of that. Like a, almost like a, a pumpernickel or something. <laughs> it's like a very dense bread. Hmm. Yeah, I would never call it a cookie. No, because it needs some butter or something. It's very dense. Very, very dense. And but dry. it has the texture of a bread. A dry, mm -hmm. dense bread. Yeah, it's a bread. It's not a cookie. Not a cookie. We, no. no. I mean, it's not bad. I could eat it, but it's not. I actually like it. I could pop this in my mouth right now, but we've got a lot more to try. It's just so dry for me. I think if the flavor is not bad. I think it's just the texture for me. It's just so dense and dry. It needs some cream or something on it. They're, um... <laughs> Soak I, it in something. Um, I like the seasoning in it. It has a... Mm -hmm. um, the ginger is nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like the ginger, but it's not like your traditional ginger. It's not like a sweet ginger or a mm -hmm. ginger that's going to burn your throat. Mm -hmm. um, that would be great. I could eat it by itself because I really like it. But it would be great if you um, dipped it in something. Yeah, or, or heated it up just a few seconds. Maybe that would soften it a little bit. Butter. Butter with this would be awesome. Uh, yeah. Or um, a cream. Um, like a cream. Cool it would be not 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 no no like like a custard cream. like custard yeah. thank you uh custard if you heated that up on a plate in the microwave and put some custard on that that would be it would be delicious yeah. mm -hmm. i would like the that the flavor's okay like i said it's just very dry okay these are just uh mini festival cookies. mini chips right yep, yeah mini, mini chips. chips and they are chocolate chip cookies yep, mini one. chocolate chip cookies mini, chip, mini, mini cookies Oh, it's a teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. I mean, that it's like Barbie doll food. Yeah, they're just as good as those other mini cookies you get. I like it that they're mini. The little chips of white cookies and stuff. Mm -hmm. These are just as good as those. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I'm seeing these, doesn't it surprise you with all the baking chips and stuff that have come out that they've never, and these are hard enough I'm thinking those are crunchy enough to where they could withstand a cookie dough. You could have little, I'm surprised they've never done many, little bitty mini chocolate chip bags of them to put in your cookies. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like baking chips. Yeah, itty bitty ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they do M&M's and Heath Bar and, okay, what they is? They have mini chips, they're just not that small. Trossy Polo? I don't know what that is. Trossy? It's some chicken. How would you say it? Because you say things. Rusty polo, yeah, I would say. It says chicken flavor chips. Yeah. You usually say things different than me. No, I would say, I don't know what the T R O C I P O L L O. Oh, okay. Because if anyone can butcher a word, it's oh, me. Me too. Mm. 
Because I did an excellent job of failing Spanish too. And I never took it. <laughs> I never took any foreign language. It does definitely have a I wish I had a chicken flavor. Yeah, but you know what? When it settles in, it's, it has a corny uh, flavor. I, I get a little bit of that. I just sit there and eat these. Mm -hmm. They're nice because, you know, usually so many things we have over here are, are, are the same texture as like, like a Cheeto or a cheese puff or something like that. These are more cracker. They texture. are. They're almost like a goldfish cracker. Yeah. When you eat a goldfish not, cracker. Not, not quite as crunchy, but, but very similar. Right, because there's almost like a goldfish is almost like two parts in one. Yeah, it's like it's hollow. Kind of, yeah, that's what that's like. Mm -hmm. It's like puffed up yeah. and there's two sections. And I like the chicken flavor. It's kind of like a chicken... Um, it's light. stock, like a chicken stock almost, like a like a the liquid you would get out of a cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. It's a light flavor, and that's why it doesn't bother me at all. It's no. not like those Pringles chicken no, that we they had. Go too it's really far. strong. That's almost like a bouillon type flavor. Is it chicken bouillon? Uh, Piro squitas. Close enough. <laughs> Piro squitas, cheese snacks. That's what it is. Hmm. Just says the original, original cheese. It's funny because I was eating a couple of those chicken things and now I want to eat more of them. I don't even know. These look like they're donuts. I know. Those those uh those are really good. Does that look like a donut? Yes. <laughs> it does wow. look I don't like the texture of those at all. They taste stale. I'm sure they're not. They just have a a stale texture like styrofoam. Hmm. I wish I hadn't have eaten the whole one. Ew, it's kind of fishy. Um, do you get a fishy flavor? Like that. seaweed? Oh my god. Yes, what's wrong with those? That did not say anything about that in the description. It, it, it's literally the aftertaste of eating seaweed. Like seaweed. Oh, <laughs> gosh. That's awful. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, that aftertaste is like fish oil or something. Well, that takes the place for the number one. Oh, that's the worst thing, thing I, I don't have like. for sure. Oh, boy, that's awful. That aftertaste is just like... It's like absolutely I'm horrible. I'm about to eat some more chicken chips. Ah, uh, yeah. These are sweet them. plantain chips. Mataritos? Mataritos. <laughs> yuck, yuck. Yeah, that's awful. I can't imagine sitting around eating that. Maybe this would be better. No, I'm okay. Oh, are these the sweet plantain chips? Yes. Yeah. Made with natural fresh plantains and only two ingredients, ripe plantains and vegetable oil. And in parentheses, it says palm oil. Okay. I like the crispiness of it, but they turn into this like... Um, Ooh, that's nice. The pasty banana flip texture. Yeah, but anything to get that horribleness out of my mouth. Those are okay. I've never been a, a dried banana. Not I like that them. kind of dried banana. Uh, yeah, I like those quite a bit. They're like um, mm. they're like those uh, Terra chips. Yeah, that's how thin and, um, and crispy they are. Um, but yeah, I love that texture. Yes, um, I tell you what, I don't like about them. Really good. The aftertaste is that brown banana flavor. I wondered if you would get that and because yes, I got that. It's not good. <laughs> it is like a, it does uh, remind me of a brown banana, but I think it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, these are called fruitas, and one of them is strawberry. It says strawberry on the outside. Oh, no, the other one, I don't know what it is. Um, so strawberry and then something else. I'm getting rid of a lot of pictures on my phone. And I'm thinking these are going to be like a Starburst or something like that. Look like. Okay, I'll just let you have one. Oh, I was going to say, I'll be opening that other one since you're having, well, having a time. It's, it's sealed on the ends. Okay, this looks harder. Yeah, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Let's see if I can buy it in two. Oh, okay. Well, if you can, I'll take the other one. Yeah. I mean, it's still kind of tough. Oh, no. It's not as tough as I thought. No. It's a little tough, but it's not bad. It's more like a Lappy Taffy. Yeah. Every time you say Lappy Taffy, I think it's a song. 
Might be heavy. <laughs> I can't think of it. I can't think of how it goes. You have to listen to it. I'm definitely not going to wrap it. <laughs> I think these are all the same. They look the same. Oh, okay. that's a nice strawberry flavor. I like that. It's not as good as the Starburst. No, it's not as good, but for a for a foreign country brand, it's pretty decent. And these are all the same color, so they're all the same thing. But why didn't it say it on the outside? I'm gonna taste. Was? You taste half of that one. I'll take half. No. Yeah, it's, it's the same, the same color. thing. Oh, it's banana. Mm-hmm. Oh, mine is too. Mm. Banana. Oh, mm. That's that really is good. So good. That is a laffy daffy banana. Mmm. Like. I wish it had said that on the outside. They didn't have a picture of them. No, there's a no, there's it's a picture just of yellow. Mm-hmm. And there's a picture of a sh oh wait. Maybe it's hidden in that yellow. Oh, uh, it's so yellow, maybe the banana's behind it. I think uh, maybe. Uh, totally. uh those are delicious. Mm, that's really good. That would be the ones I those would be the ones I'd buy all the time. Yeah, if you couldn't get Laffy Taffy banana, then those would be the replacement mm -hmm. for it. Because they're dead all in all Laffy Taffy. Now this is Yogetta. And like it, yeah, it's Yogetta cookies and cream lollipop. Huh. Okay. Just to let you know, we are married people, so we're gonna eat this sucker together. That was the big one. I missed something where I didn't mark it off. Cause we've tried everything here. Hmm. That's a good sucker. I like the paper on just so you know which one was which. Not that, mm. you're, gonna, not that you're gonna take another picture. Um, that's a really nice flavor. I don't know that it reminds me of cookies or cream necessarily, but it's very sweet. Oh, it's it, vanilla. It's just incredibly sweet, is mm. what it is. That's a good that's a good thing. This one is a good lolly. Colum Columbina Bon Bon Bum. Bon Bon Bum. Yeah. Lollipops with bubblegum center. It's passion fruit. Uh, this flavor in particular is passion fruit. Uh, Kuya? Yeah, that one's really good. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you don't really get the cookie part of it, like the like a chocolate cookie. Wow, look at that. That's uh, interesting. Mm. It's pretty in it. From the looks of it, it would be banana. Does it look like it would have been banana? That stick is hollow. Yeah, sometimes they do that. Yeah, but... It's plastic. Mine is. Mmm. I wrap my mouth around the whole thing, and so I guess there's air coming up through the bottom mm. of it. And... Should have ended on that one. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like cookies and cream, but it's incredibly yeah, sweet. Very, it's very just sweet. like a... It's like a cooked sugar. Yep. With it's some really, vanilla in it. Really nice. Okay. And then this is the passion fruit. You know it's passion fruit. And there's a gum in there too, but we're not going to make it to the gum. <laughs> oh, she might. I'm not going to. I don't even want to bite it. It's bad for your teeth. Horrible for your teeth. When you split a tooth in half, well. I know. I have a hard time eating it. candy without without chomping into it. She does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't help it. <laughs> there is gum. Yeah, it's like gum in the middle. I don't know if this one said it had gum. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna chew it. I'm not gonna bite it just to see, but Okay. I like that. Do you? Mm -hmm. It's a little too uh tart for me. Mm -hmm. I don't really like passion fruit though. It it is passion fruit, it's this tart. But it has enough sweetness there that I really like it. Yeah. Like uh we tried a Cadbury bar from Australia that Malcolm sent us. And it had it was passion fruit inside of the Cadbury milk uh, chocolate. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, it was nice. It's still not a flavor I would choose to go buy intentionally, but I don't mind it if it's in something. Okay, let's do favorite and least favorite. Well, I only had a couple that I really think are favorites. These little chips, the little cookies are really good. I like those. Um, the cookies and cream. The chocolate chip. They're cookies. really good. Uh, these little, this uh, chocolate, uh, the cookies and cream lollipop was good mm -hmm. and probably um, these little chicken chips. I really like those. The rest of it, eh, they're okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your least? 
Oh, those donut-looking things by far. Are the These worst are mine too. Ever. These are horrible. No, yeah. no, uh, those will not get finished. Those are awful. I don't know why it turns into seaweed, but it does. Mm -hmm. It's like some kind of a joke. <laughs> it's uh, like a pumpkin, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, I did not like that at all. I didn't like those, um, and there were some there. You didn't like these little hard. Uh, little no, I didn't like that either. Dough balls or whatever. This is a flower. Yeah. But I really, really, I like most of it, honestly. Most I mean, it, yeah, it's not bad. From the very beginning, those coconut patties, I like those. Mm -hmm. I like these chalky things. Yeah. I love cookie. that um, this one, Castapan. Yeah. I absolutely I love that. Oh, there's them. all kinds of stuff that are good. Oh, yeah. If, I mean, for the majority, you're getting like 22 snacks. Yeah. And, and you're going you're gonna to probably enjoy or like most of them. Yeah, exactly. So Everybody's um, tastes are different, though. You might be completely flip flop from us. You might like the things we hate and hate the things we like. Oh, yeah. You never know. These were just okay for me too, and it was more of a texture thing. But I love getting to try all this stuff. Oh yeah, it's fun. Uh, this is awesome, and it's all- Oh, I forgot these little- uh, Specifically these, Colombian, the, the banana, banana things. things. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good things here. Um, if you sign up for them, we don't get anything like yeah, I said. we don't get an affiliate thing. Really. No affiliate link, nothing like that. Uh, you can cancel at any time. 100% guarantee. If you can you, pause it, it said too. So mm -hmm. maybe if you don't like a month or you don't want to right. do a month, you, you can, can pause it. it. It's $34.99 a month. Uh, that includes tax, but you do have to pay shipping. Um, they currently only ship in the USA, so you can only get these in America. If you are watching from another country, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. <laughs> you made it, it this far. Um, <laughs> Each box has 18 to 22 snacks from the featured country of the month. And like I said, you scan that QR code with your phone, it pops right up with the website, and you'll be able to see the name and the picture. And at some point, they might add a description, you know. A that, translation a, would be nice. Yeah, well, like these. The, these are chocolate chip cookies. That's all it has to say. Many chocolate chip cookies. But that's nice, too. Um, just for me, especially since we're doing these reviews, I like to know what we're trying here. Um, but I personally think this is a lot of fun. Um, we have tried uh, subscription boxes before. We've bought these mystery boxes before at World Market. They have mystery boxes. And I always enjoy this type of thing. And I think they make excellent gifts mm -hmm. for that foodie in your life because that foodie probably isn't going to buy this for themselves no. and you give it as a gift is awesome if you just want to give and you one can sit month, down together you can. and you can sit down together and try them out if you want oh to. you could do this as a family i mean yeah. if you wanted if you knew the family was getting together you could be like let's try this stuff yeah together. some things are small to where you couldn't really share them much but, but other most things, things are, you can like the suckers you're probably not going to share that with your brother-in-law no, but, <laughs> please don't. But I do think this is a really great idea. So uh, if you are interested, uh, I'm going to put the link uh, below this video um, uh, to Pachanga Box. We greatly appreciate them mm -hmm. sending it to us. Um, I, I ha we always have a lot of fun yep. with this. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.